I, I yeah. do agree with you on that whole uh, the weight loss thing as well. I think, <laughs> and I think a, the, some of the reason why people don't or they, they delve into that, should I be cutting out carbs or this has got too much sodium or whatever it is, is because they don't want to accept that it is as simple as calories in versus calories out. And I the reason I agree with you on this is because when I was, I think I was probably 15 or 16, I was a bit of a slob. Like I lived at boarding school. There was like the dining hall. You could get anything you wanted, like pies, Nutella sandwiches, fairy bread, all the good stuff. And I was just loading up, not much exercise. Got up to about just over 100 kilos and was like an unhealthy, like I weigh the same now, but I'm a bit more muscular. Yeah. Uh, an unhealthy 100 kilos. And I decided I was just going to eat the same as what I was eating. And, but like a less amount. So I was sort of like halving what I was eating, got down to about 87 kilos. So, and, and I found it, it wasn't easy, but the whole process was as simple as don't eat as much exercise a bit more. Is it really that sim- as simple as calories in versus calories out for everyone? Or is there nuance with some people? It is the basis of what everything's built off. I think like, but in saying that, like that principle will only get you so far. Like, right. um, for example, like I pulled on a friend of mine as a client uh, just last week and she said she'd been, uh, you know, following this program of calories in, calories out. There's a lot of people that do push that metric, right, which is cool because it, it is actually factual. And like, you know, I've never mocked someone for doing that because at least they're telling people things that are true. But there is a point where you're going to get to where you keep, decreasing your calories and you don't worry about the other things that you're going to come unstuck so calories in calories out is only going to like govern your weight right but like you said just before like you're you're a healthy 100 kilos now but you're an unhealthy 100 kilos before so like weight not necessarily is like the biggest factor that we're actually worried about right so what we actually want to like change is the percentage of fat on your body versus muscle tissue or lean muscle mass right so the problem with calories in calories out approach is like when you decrease your calories if your protein's not in check or think mainly your protein you'll actually start to lose weight from your lean muscle tissue as well Mm. so what you'll find is when people have lost a lot of weight and they get to that point of like yeah, like we've you're down to a, what should be a healthy weight range, right? Like you said, 100 kilos, like you can be healthy at that range. But they'll find that they still have a lot a lot of fat and they actually don't have much muscle. So by dropping calories more, you're not going to fix that problem. You just you're going to take a little bit of fat off, but you're also going to take a little bit more muscle off and that process is just going to continue. Yeah. So what then needs to happen is we need to start focusing on okay, You've hit, you've hit the calorie target. Now we move up to the next tier in the list. And like in my coaching program, I, I outline a pyramid. So it's like calories is the base of everything. And then as we move up, protein is the next thing on the list. Once we hit that, then we move on to fats, carbs, blah, 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 right? So you got to move up the pyramid and keep progressively getting better and better with your nutrition and adding other things in they do the other things come become important for sure yeah 